you must be the director's new hires. Not us! We're just very curious about Wangsheng Funeral Parlor and Hu Tao. Well, I wouldn't get too curious if I were you. Too much knowledge isn't good for ordinary folk. The director is tactful when it comes to what should and shouldn't be known. Huh? Tactful? We should get going. Let's go find Hu Tao. That's settled then. Write it like this. Wangsheng Funeral Parlor Bumper Sale. Buy one, get one free. Buy two, get three free. More for your Mora. <laughs> I love it. Better than all that lifeless brochure stuff. We want people to feel warm and fuzzy. Uh, but director, isn't lifeless the name of the game in this industry? That's old hat. We're opening up new ground. Why does Wangshun Funeral Parlor need to open up? Uh, <sighs> yes, director. Poor guy's giving up. Right, we should get going. I am not letting new business escape us. We? As in us? <laughs> Who else? Do you see anyone else around here? Oh, well, you probably wouldn't see them if there was. Stop adding little afterthoughts like that! It creeps people out. <laughs> Just a joke, sorry. Everything you see is everything that's present. <sighs> Lighten up. The way I see it, people make death scarier than it really is. What people truly fear about departing this world is suffering and regret. To deal with the trauma, they let their imaginations run wild with notions of ghosts and evil spirits. <sighs> oh, baseless fantasies. What we've ended up with is a topic that people are morbidly afraid of talking about. If I don't broach the subject, then Wangsheng Funeral Parlor won't be long for this world. Oh. More approachable and appeasable than you'd imagined? Uh, Paima wouldn't say that. Let's just say at least it didn't hurt us. You must have come across a particularly ferocious entity. How should I put this? Most spirits are incapable of harming ordinary folks. The job of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is to guard the border between life and death. One component of this is correcting notions of death and the afterlife that people may hold. Simply put, for those unable to see the border, they're best kept as far away from it as possible. So for ordinary folks, the best case scenario is ignorance of all matters concerning spirits in the afterlife, or even better, a belief that none of it exists. Then you really don't have any excuse for spooking the heck out of people. <laughs> you make it sound so abominable. I'm just trying to get them to see the humor in it all. I never thought you'd be such a bore. Never mind. If you stick by me, everything will become clear. All right, let's get going. Follow me. Director, wait. What about Big G? Don't forget. Big G? Who's that? We've been in Lele for ages and never heard that name. Oh, nothing. Just something mung has been pleading with me to take care of. Should be a piece of cake. Where are we going? to visit an important potential client. I'll lead the way. Uh, sorry, who are you? Hello, I'm Hu Tao, director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Okay, so why would someone from Wangsheng Funeral Parlor be looking for me? Mm, nothing major. How are you feeling these days? Any aches or pains? You shouldn't ignore them, by the way. Very often they're an omen of something terminal. When we're healthy, it's easy to forget the crushing fragility of life. So, aches and pains, best to keep an eye on them. What are you getting at? I'm in great health and enjoying life very much, thank you. Go and find some other poor soul. Goodbye. Why did they get angry? What's wrong with a few earnest health tips? Uh, and you are. Be quick. I'm busy. Hello there. Would you be interested in understanding a bit about our services at the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? 
Uh, I'm not in need of your services. So you're out here looking for new customers? Don't you think this might be a bit of a crass way of going about it? Hardly. Isn't this the fashion these days? Bring the service to the customer and all that. I'm not sure it's every service that falls into that. Uh, anyway, please bother someone else if you don't mind. Uh, another failure. Still, not the end of the world. Paimon's curious. Does this approach ever work out for you? I know your face. The Wangsheng Funeral Parlor Director, right? I'm sorry, I'm really in no need of it. Don't apologize, get to know us. We've got a new sale going on. Ever hear the saying, out with the old, in with the new? Well, going out with a bang is the best way to start off in style on the other side. <laughs> if you keep talking like this, I'll have to call the Millilith. No, no, no. Okay, relax. We're leaving. But Wangsheng Funeral Parlor awaits your distinguished patronage. You really don't give up, do you? Hmm? Are you trying to make me feel better? Well, thank you. Seems you understand me far better than most people. Not really. This is just getting really uncomfortable. Business development? Is that what you see this as? Surely you don't think all that was business development. Then what was it exactly? Traumatization for its own sake? No, no, no. The business development ended after the discussion with the Adventurers Guild. I was helping to find somebody for Mung. You remember Big G? As it turns out, the Big G that Mung is looking for is a ghost adrift in the mortal realm. The three we saw just now were all people I suspected of being followed by Big G. But having seen them, I didn't sense the presence of anything otherworldly. So we just had a quick chat, and I left it at that. Why didn't you say so? Paimon thought you had some kind of sixth sense for, a uh, people in declining health. Huh? What would I need that kind of ability for? I'm no doctor. <laughs> Were you seriously hoping that the director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was going to start healing people, or...? Paimon was trying to subtly imply that... Uh, never mind. Paima wouldn't know how to explain subtlety in a way you'd understand. <sighs> well, let's leave that for now and head back to Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. This Big G matter is very closely linked to Meng. afraid we're still no closer to finding Big G. I see. Well, I'm just sorry for the trouble. I've already searched in all the likely places. Who is this Big G anyway? I guess I should start at the beginning. My home was in the vicinity of Wuong Hill. In my youth, I had a good many friends there. Big G was one of them. We were the best of friends. Inseparable, really. But one day, there was an accident. And that was the end of him. I've never forgotten. Too many memories, I suppose. I often return to Wuong Hill. But recently, after one such visit, I started to feel strange. Now, every night, Big G appears in my dreams. I can't help but wonder, did I disturb him somehow? Perhaps. I don't have proof, but I can't stop worrying. I get more anxious every day. How would I ever come to terms with my childhood friend becoming an evil spirit? <sighs> That's why he joined Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. In place of a salary, I'm helping him deal with this matter. And in fact, what Meng has said is entirely plausible. Spirits on occasion do find a way into our world. But 
As for evil spirits, I think you're scaring yourself. Even I have only encountered malevolent forces a handful of times. But are you sure there's no danger? I couldn't bear for him to go around harming people. You see what I mean? Look at the state of him. If we can't find Big G, it'll eat away at Monk forever. Those people we found today were also Monk's childhood friends. I thought there was a good chance Big G might have hidden among them. But here we are, empty-handed. Wong Hill, childhood friends? <sighs> Seems like we're out of leads. Uh, sorry, excuse me. Is this Wong Sheng Funeral Parlor? My name's Luo Chung. I've had this awful feeling recently, like something's staring at me. Some of my friends and I went to Wu Wong Hill the other day on a dare. After I returned home, I fell ill. I've been having recurring nightmares, but the doctors can't find anything wrong with me. I think that it's a curse, right? I've been cursed by a demon! Say no more. There's no doubt it's a demonic curse, all right, and a serious one at that. You believe so, too? Then it's just like they say in the tales of old. The vengeful spirits of the gods who fell in the Archon War return to cast their evil curses upon mortals. And if the curse isn't lifted, it will burn through the body, laying waste to flesh and bone. Oh, what a wretched end! The symptoms I'm having are just like those described in the tales! Wu Wong Hill? Hmm... No, I don't think it was a curse. It was probably just Big G. Hold your horses, both of you. There's no need to creep each other out. Isn't that exactly what you like to do, though? Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor specializes in demonic stuff like this, right? Help me! I beg you! I'm too young to die! All right, all right. Don't panic. Leave it to me. You've come to the right person. However, in order to lift the curse, we need a suitable location, and we need to make some preparations. Come with me, my trusty assistants. I'm going to need your help. I guess I'll come too. Help him make the preparations first. The incense exorcism, the one I taught you. When you're ready, come and find me. Once we've finished with this, we'll get back to the big G matter. Okay, I guess. Right. Let's go.